Off to work we go then, me and Bertie. Why am I facing the wrong way? Turn me around, you stupid man. Patience, Bertie. Artie's made big strides. It's 1 a.m. On our way to Clanny Brother. You're right, Bertie. Piss off. Bertie's okay. Passing Bristol again. I live in Bristol, of course. Uh, 185 kilometers, so just over two hours to get to Clanny Brother. We drop a trailer and then uh, park outside the workshop. I'm gonna look at my guinea pigs. I'm really pissed now because I'm away on it. Hello, Ginger. Some back here pickles. Pickles? Can you see YouTube? Right, so the trailer is loaded. We have the paperwork. Two drops in Rome. Mostly hanging, some pallets. I had the choice of catching the boat from Portsmouth to La Havre at 11 o'clock. We're using the train and running through, and uh, I decided to uh, go for the train. Because apart from anything else, if you uh, ship into La Havre, it means you've got two days where you really got to hammer it. You've got to get 10 hour drives in, whereas doing it this way, it's a bit more. I can get further today. Nice new trailer. Happy days. Oh, yep. It's a beautiful evening. Beautiful indeed. It's going to be a cold one. Although not as cold as further down the road, over the mountains of the Alps. <coughs> down to like minus 10 and 11 now, still this, uh, this week, overnight. What say you, Bertie? Piss off. I'm still not happy with you. Okay, why? I'm retired! He was happy at home. And I've dragged him out because of you people. I hate you all. Nanticos, first proper test of the big V8. Come on, I need all the horses. Is it would loaded? <laughs> yeah, she's doing pretty well. 75k, up landing cows. Not bad at all. So we got uh, 455 kilometers to Folkestone. Hammer that out. Have a coffee on the train, and then we can probably have another three hours the other side. Two, three hours driving. To get as far as I can today. Oh dear, didn't take long before I hit some traffic. It's about six as well. Must be some sort of accident. Ah, uh, just a quick word. When you're in traffic, don't keep changing lanes all the fucking time. It's what makes the traffic even worse, is these cars just keep going there and trucks do it as well. He's like, we're all gonna get to the end of this queue around about the same time. Whether it's three or four car lengths ahead is really quite irrelevant. Just stay in your lane. Thank you. Good day. So we're down to <clears throat> one lane on the M25 because of the night of the better hate now. It's what I tend to do. I'm in the lane that's remaining open. You sort of drift along, leaving a gap, and then people can move in. Well, I've seen it several times already, including from lorries and cars. Of them, people speeding up to the car in front, leaving no gap so nobody can get in. And it's like, we all need to be in this lane. Don't be such a twat. Let people in. 
doesn't bloody hurt. But then you've also got the other end of the spectrum is uh, people who block off open lanes. Oh, I think the lanes are open. Sounds nice, didn't she listen to this? Oof. Yeah, I've got to give it to the V8. It does sound mighty fine. Mighty fine. Uh, just over an hour, I suppose, to the train. Hopefully it won't be too busy. Yeah, merge in turn. That's the word you want to remember. Go up to the cones and use all the available lanes. There's no point getting into lane three miles behind us. The lane's closed up there. But likewise, if you're in the lane that's open, just let people in. Trundle along at a slow speed, leave a gap. This is not like for old hands, but then lots of them could do with the tips. But, um, like for younger chaps. It's a very relaxing way to drive. I used to hair around like a maniac when I was younger. But now I just trundle about and I get there just as quick as I ever did, if not quicker, and without any stress. What do you say, Bertie? Piss off! Bertie's not happy still. I hate you. See what I mean? This, this Range Rover and this van are doing exactly what I was talking about just now. Like, going really close to the car in front and not letting anybody in. And I just let them in! <laughs> it's like, you just relied on my goodwill. Jesus, people. Why is it when people get in cars, they leave their brains entirely behind? Neither of them thanked me for letting them in. They clearly think it's their God-given right to be in this lane whenever they want to be. And damn everybody else. Look at them, look, look. Really close. Nobody's getting in front of me! Pathetic. People are pathetic. exactly what I wanted to say. Um, every time I've used the train lately, it's been absolutely rammed all queuing down here. Looks empty. With any luck, we can get straight on a train and get this uh, bit of a journey over and done with. So I want to... Uh, oh, I didn't turn off the lights. Turn off the lights. Mm-hmm. Right. Am I carrying dangerous goods? No. One, validate. This is all changed now. Jump in here for a while. It's, uh, I've taken my transport document. This, so this is a new check-in area. Just past it, where the old check-in area was, is passport control because uh, the law changed. I made it law to check the passports of everybody leaving the country which never used to do with the train you could get out on the train if uh, you'd forgotten your passport because nobody would check it and then you'd have to deal with it coming back of course but it's good if you're in a bit of a problem yeah I only had a five minute wait for getting on the train so we're doing all right it's horrible hanging around at this time of night when it's busy. When you just want to go over and down and go to bed. Uh, this bump, this uh, truck has got very low bumpers and very low side skirts. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to concentrate on getting on this train without damaging anything. So I'm not going to video that bit. Good day. Coming up for my uh, 30 minute break to make up to 45. It's one of the things I do love in France. Yes! Four stars! Three and a half stars. Uh, one of the things I do love in France is you can often max out your hours and not go over them because there's so many rest areas and there's always somewhere to stop. Look at that. Four hours, 29 minutes. I've got one minute to park. Over 
there because I don't want to go to the shop. It's a bit harder though, uh, obviously I'm not parking up now because I've got more to do, but it can be hard to find parking on some of the main routes after about seven or eight o'clock because they get rammed. But then unlike the UK, if you can squeeze yourself in somewhere um, without blocking anybody, uh, you'll be left alone. You don't have to be in space necessarily. Let's park there, shall we? Go on, click over to four point four thirty. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. <laughs> Literally, as I stopped, I'm a driving god. What do you say, Bertie? You're a driving nitwit, I know that much. A stupid, stupid nitwit. Just having an evening breakfast. <laughs> Didn't start until two o'clock anyway, but Bertie's already eaten two steaks and a guinea fowl. Shut up, don't tell people. Uh, I'm having an egg and bacon sandwich. It will be gone away. Signs for Italy, but Donald Frisius. I've come this way, slightly longer in miles. There's less faffing around. Mont Blanc, you've got to wait for escort and all that malarkey. So I've always tended to use Frisius. I might come back at the Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc's a more scenic route. And if I'd have been coming down in daylight, I'd have probably gone over it because it's so scenic. But it's night time. And this is just time wise. Well, if you factor in the escort and everything, probably about the same amount of time. I've got to stop at the bottom and get um, a Euro class sticker for the windscreen because it's a new truck, so it doesn't have one. So, if you ever uh, take a new truck abroad and you've got to go through one of the tunnels, you want to make sure you've got all your um, documents, but especially your Euro emissions uh, certificate because without that, you'll struggle in many places. Right, I'm going to head up the hill. Climbing up to the Frasers now, 30 kilometers away. Oh, getting a bit misty. Ooh, ethereal. Ooh, vehicle coming. There's a bit about on one of the matrix signs about the Frasers being open in shifts. Uh, hopefully, that's for a future date and not for tonight. I did try and check earlier, but find anything. There we go then, got my Euro 6 sticker. You didn't even look at the paperwork, I just said Euro 6 and he gave it to me. <laughs> so, I'll stick that in the windscreen and then head up the hill. I'm going to have to stick it by you Bertie. Sod off, I'm trying to sleep. It's actually yellow as well. It's matching Bertie. <laughs> 